Daddy, be present in your kids' lives. Attend the school sports day and visitations. Be there in hospital when your child is undergoing medication. When we don't do this, we create a feeling that fathers are useless and do not do anything at all. Old age can be very lonely and agonizing for men who do not get family time right. You become a liability in your old age as children see you as a burden instead of a blessing. They wish you were dead early because they cannot take care of you. To live a happy old age be in the lives of your family members, especially your kids. Then they can keep you in their memories tomorrow. Build friendship with people. Build your retirement projects that will save you in your old age. Don't plan to depend on your kids in your old age. It may not work. Be a father who cared for your family, the community, the church, so you can be remembered. Fathers, we deny ourselves. We are ever on lawns, wear tattered clothes. Our shoes are always worn out. We don't feed well because we want to see our children through university and build a decent home. Years later, we are so spent taking care of people who leave us at 18. When children forget us in the old age, it breaks our backs and we die of heartbreak. Exodus 2.9, Pharaoh's daughter told the woman, take care of this child and I'll pay you. The payment of parenting is done by God, not our kids. It is God who makes them remember us, not them. Stop counting on your kids and count on God. The impact of us as fathers is immense. When our boys grow up without father figures, they rank so low in self-esteem as adults. They struggle to provide for their families because it has never been modeled before them. These are men we find delaying to marry because they do not know where to start. Out of the 3.8 billion women on the planet, they still claim it is very hard to find one. Fatherless men tend to be players instead of stable men that can manage relationships. They elevate pleasure above purpose. They prefer a brand new car to a wedding. They are not equipped for manhood and the fear of failing paralyzes them. In our time, men are unintentionally feminized because 70% of men grow up only in the hands of single mothers or absent fathers. Most fathers sleep at home but do not live at home. Soon we raise sons without fathers. Its impact is seen in the gender confusion we have in our time today. We have boys good at making nice dishes but so poor at breadwinning. Boys and the mothers are raised under submission. They are often waiting to take orders rather than giving orders. Their masculinity is turned upside down. Fatherless men relate to, to women as mothers. They often fail a prey to sugar moms because they seek after women who will provide for them. Consequence, consequently, they don't pursue lovers but they pursue mothers. We can stop a fatherless generation by being present in our children's lives and in the kids' lives, even those that are in the neighborhood. Cut back from your office work hours and do some recreation with your kids. Read more about fatherhood and equip yourself as a true father for the days ahead. Fathers, we have lost many generations, but we cannot afford to lose this one. Anyone who denies a boy child a scholarship at the expense of a girl is an enemy of the family values. Belittling a boy's dad should be unacceptable. Let us wake up fathers everywhere we go to be part of parenting. Thank you for listening on Fatherhood. Patrick, Living Work Community, God bless you.